Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek, and oftentimes I get questions from you guys about what type of things do I collect, and uh, oftentimes uh, you're amazed when I say it's weird stuff, and by amazed I mean you're probably just sick of me showing you weird stuff, but salt and pepper here, so today I want to show you some things that I have, just a kind of a small collection of, that's bizarre stuff, right, so I happen to collect salt and pepper shakers, especially ones that are made out of metal, especially ones made out of silver. And so one of the things that's interesting to me about these salt and pepper shakers is that um, oftentimes if you had a guest or guests over, salt and pepper shakers were frequently, uh, they were frequently at the table individually. So they weren't always, they were not always uh, one big thing that you would pass around. Uh, and so oftentimes when you see little things like these, they could have been at each table setting, each place setting. So these are wild because those are like, uh, you know, Jack and Jill went up the hill kind of things. Uh, in the meantime, also what's weird about those, I don't know if you noticed, but that sterling is marked 950 instead of 925. So uh, sometimes, usually 950 is actually um, Japanese, usually, not always. So these are cool. These are gourds. And uh, for those of you who see a lot of this type of silver stuff, you may recognize a little bit the um, the overall, whoop, that got backwards on me real fast, this type of a design. And so this is from Mexico. Now this is just marked 925. It's not really marked that it's from Mexico, but this type of thing is from Mexico. 925 salt and pepper shakers also uh, very likely very likely individuals just for the table and I'm going to show you one of my prized possessions here in just a minute which uh, you know you'll laugh at me but you know you ask what I collect and I collect odd things now these ones I know these are just little dishes and so you may be looking at this and thinking well you know is, is this really a salt or pepper shaker and my answer to that is I'm not 100% sure. But what I will say is that um, they did oftentimes have these smaller containers like this for salt or pepper that if you had a small enough spoon, now this one won't fit, but uh, oftentimes when you see these little tiny spoons, they're, they're actually a salt spoon. So uh, sometimes you'll see these little types of dishes and they would actually be for at the dinner table. All right, uh, one of my all-time favorites, check these out. So salt and pepper shotgun shells. And you've got the S and the P, so you know which one's which. I would have loved to have been at this Dane dinner table. Like, did, did Remington, were these his? Did he, like, have these? Do you guys know the Remington house, the crazy story? All right, well, you have to look it up because I don't got time for that. Uh, so my favorite, one of my all-time favorite things that I own are actually these, that they are made out of copper, okay, they're made to look like uh, larger bullets, you know, and they're copper, but also, for those of you who know the area here, you understand just how much I enjoy the little town of Bisbee, one of the biggest little towns ever, and it was a mining town, and I do have both. So you've got the big one here on the right that just says Bisbee and has the great seal of the state of Arizona on it. So it says the state of Arizona, which means it is these were produced after 1912, which is when Arizona became a state. I know, we're kind of noobs. And then you have this side over here, the junction shaft, uh, CNA mine, Bisbee, Arizona. And what's cool, of course, is if you look closely, you know, you've got an idea of what like the little camp looked like up in the hills and then the mine workings all throughout so the little little slice of life that is still probably a hundred years old so it's gonna be after 1912 but I'd be surprised if these were uh, you know newer than from like the, the 30s but I could be wrong and so you had usually you have um, different amount of holes to separate your salt and pepper shakers so anyways guys you asked what I collect and uh, you found out so sorry. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the owl button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.